Hey guys, so this video I filmed a couple weeks ago when I was doing my injections. I wanted to kind of film a tutorial for a lot of you who might be um, doing IVF or considering doing it and you just kind of want to see what the injections part is like in depth. So I just basically went about my business doing my two injections which was Puragon and Menupure and I just filmed along with it. Um, I hope that this can give you some kind of refresher if you're doing it or um, allow you kind of a step-by-step -step guide um, or if you're just interested and would like to see it then that's great too. Um, so let's get right into it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. So let's start with the Puragon pen. This one is fairly simple. So what you're going to need is your pen. You will need your cartridge. This is the cartridge. So you'll put it in, mine is already in, but you'll basically just put it in here, put the lid on, you push down and you have this little arrow. You want it to turn it all the way. At the top is where you put your needle in. This needs to be cleaned every time with an alcohol swab. Um, basically the rule of thumb is if it gets poked by a needle, then it gets cleaned. Um, so this is going to be poked by the needle, therefore it needs to be cleaned. So just a little bit of alcohol on the top and you're ready to go for that. So the pure gun, has these needles that comes in a little box. There are three in a box. They look like this. So this is already sterile. So all you have to do is take off, peel off the tab like that. Obviously don't touch it. Um, and then we are going to screw this on to the pen. So we just push slightly and then screw. Now this one has this cap and it also has a cap underneath. So when you pull this cap off, you still have a protective cap so the needle doesn't, isn't exposed. Um, next, what you're gonna wanna do is there's this little viewfinder window here and that tells you how many units you are using. So today I am almost at the end of my cycle and we um, are just reducing my dosage. So I'm going from 125 to 75. So I will turn this, you can hear it clicking, until it gets to 75. The great thing about this pen is that if you go too far, oops, what you can do is just turn it all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, until you get back to the end. There's this little arrow sign, which basically means you are now ready to push it back in. Um, and then you can restart. So my dose today is 75. So you always make sure that you have the correct dose in the window, um, and then you're ready with that. If your cartridge um, is going to be empty before you fill the full units, this, ma this pen does the math for you. So you will um, still put it to your dosage. You will use it and then take it out. And whatever the number in the window is left is what you need to administer with the next cartridge. So you don't have to touch it. You just change the cartridge and then you continue pressing, um, which was tricky for me at the first, but it, uh, once you get the hang of it, it's really convenient. So next you're going to need to clean the surface of your skin. So I'm just using an ice pack just for about 30 seconds just to chill the area. Um, I don't want it to be totally numb just in case um, that affects the needles transferring. Uh, my nurse said it doesn't, but you know, I'm just gonna numb it just a little and then get started. So I like to do is wear like stretchy pants and I'll just put the um, ice pack in my band and just let it sit there while I'm pre preparing things.
All right, so with your alcohol swab, you're going to clean the area. I always like to clean more, um, more space just in case I find a better spot, uh, then I won't have to wipe it again. Um, it's a good idea to let the alcohol on your skin dry completely before you do the injection. Um, that way the actual alcohol doesn't get inside, which could possibly sting more. And this already doesn't feel the best, so why make it hurt more, right? So when you're ready with the pen, you use it like this. Your thumb is going to be pushing the bottom down um, and you're going to be holding it with your full hand. Um, you will take the other hand and you will pinch a part of your skin, part of your stomach. Um, they say to go around your belly, not too close to the belly button. So around your stomach. So take off the lid. Keep this big lid that you had before close because you will use that to take the cartridge off. Do not use the small lid because it's easier to poke yourself. Use the big lid. Um, that way it's better for that. All right, so you take a chunk of your skin, you find a spot that you want, you make it kind of taut, and you push in nice and straight. You push down, you'll hear the clicking. You usually want to count to five. Then I like to make my skin stretch so that when I release um, the needle, it is harder for it to kind of hit anything on the way out. So I just stretch the skin with my fingers. And that's that. So then I take my thing, my lid, and I put it on, and then I'll start turning. So you can see here that my units is down to zero, which means I got the full and complete dose, which is um, good, because that means I don't have to do a second needle. So like I said, twist, twist, twist. Sometimes it doesn't come off all the way, so just be gentle while you're doing it in case it doesn't. There it is, and put that right into your sharps container. Now, this pen is good to put back, um, and this pen gets reused over and over, which is great. You're not wasting any plastic. Always double check, make sure you're not bleeding too much, um, then you can just apply some pressure. Okay, so next we are going to do the menu pure. This is my second stimmet that I have this year. So they come in two little vials. One has the liquid and one has the powder. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is take the caps off. Again, this is something that gets poked with a needle, so that means it needs to be wiped with an alcohol swab. Okay, so you're going to use the liquid first, but what you'll need is you'll need a syringe and you'll need the needle that goes with it. All right, so what I like to do is have everything prepped and ready on the table for me so that I'm not fiddling with anything um, and trying to rush it. So I'll just have, I'll just open the packages, leave them in the package but placed open uh, so that they don't get to contaminate with anything, then they are ready to go. The other thing that you need for this one is because you are mixing it, you need what's called a Q-cap. So this tool is purely just for mixing. So again, um, I like to open it. It's just this little, I'll show you, just this little screw on top where the syringe screws here and you put the a vial in there. So what you're gonna do is place it um, on the water or the liquid solution first. Um, so what I like to do is just pop it on there it might shoot out a little bit of liquid, which is always funny. Then I take my syringe. So it's important to um, put in, so my dosage is 70, sorry, my dosage is 75 units. So I only need half of the liquid that's in here. I only need um, to go up to the number one. Uh, they just put in extra. So that's something you should definitely make sure you understand when you're doing this is if your cart vial has more 
or not. So first thing you do is you take your syringe and you actually put air in it. You'll go all the way down to number one and you want um, that air in it. So this air just makes it easier to take the liquid out afterwards of this vial. So you'll screw this on and you'll push the air in. Okay, so now when you flip it up, it just seamlessly, the water or the solution will come through. So you're going to go down to number one. That's my dose, um, obviously depending on your dose. Okay, so when you're at number one, you can um, you can pull the vial off. Okay, so you don't want you want to leave the cue cap on because you still need it, but you just want to pull the vial off. This vial is now done. So next we are going to place our cue cap and our syringe onto the powder vial. So we are going to push down, and then we are going to take our fingers and we're gonna push the solution into the powder. Now you just wanna mix it a little bit. Um, it dissolves right away, but you just swirl it a little to make sure that it is fully mixed. And then we flip it upside down and we let go. So now we're taking that liquid back in. So it will be back to one um, milliliter, but it will basically empty the entire vial because that's the amount of liquid that you had put in from before. All right, so you'll take it in, like so, back to one, and now you can unscrew the cap. All right, so now you are actually finished with this file and cube cap. What you have next is your needle. So it comes with a protective cover, but only one cover, unlike the Puregon pen. So you're just going to screw it on until it doesn't go anymore. I like to sometimes flick the needle to get the air bubbles out. Because you're doing it um, not in any veins, it doesn't actually matter if there's air, which is a sigh of relief. <laughs> so just get out what you can, and if not, it's not actually an issue. So now this one is ready to go. We have the cap on that I will take off once I'm ready. Um, what you'll want to do is get another alcohol swab and clean that area that you have chosen. I like to kind of disperse the needle sites around so that, um, especially if I get a bruise, then I'm going in a different spot the next day. Um, by the end of it, it's all bruised anyway, so it's not that easy, but you do what you can. Okay, so while I'm letting that dry, I am going to take off my cap. So there I have the needle. So this cap is pretty small, so I usually don't try to put it back in um, unless I have to because, um, like I said, it's less accurate. Um, but what, what you need to do next is you need to push the syringe until you see the first drop come out of the needle. So just very gently, because you don't want to shoot it out or waste it, you'll push very gently, oh, and I see the first drop. So that means it is all ready to go. So this one, um, the nurse told me to hold more like a pencil, um, and then you'll kind of use your finger to go down, push the thing down as well. I just say do it however feels the most comfortable because you don't want to be kind of jerking your hand around while you're doing it. So do what feels comfortable. So you'll take your syringe, you'll take your other hand and find a chunk of skin. And you're going to place it into the skin. And push down. So the many pure I find has a bit of a sting or a burn to it. It is not my favorite whatsoever. Um, it's not horrid or anything, but it's definitely, you can feel it more than the pure gone. So you put it all the way in, you count to five. Like I said, tighten the skin so that the needle can come out seamlessly and pull. Um, so that is everything you can even kind of massage the area after just to make sure that um, it's moved around and that it might feel a little less sore later. 
So then you'll put your needle, the whole needle, into the sharps container. And make sure you're not bleeding too much. And then that is it. Then you can close your container and you can start throwing things away. So uh, obviously anything with a sharp edge, you always want to put in your container and the rest can basically just go in the garbage. So yeah, so that's kind of my little tutorial on how to use the Puragon pen and the Metapure um, injections for IVF. I hope you learned something. I hope this can help you along on your journey. Just remember that you can do it. You are strong. And I'm wishing you the best of luck. Bye.